this video we're going to be taking a look at a song called The Sea by Father and Gear or sung by Sandy Denny. Uh, I'm not a big uh, knowledge on a British folk rock from the 70s but I've been asked to do this one and it's a, it's a really good song and at first listening to it thought didn't know how to work it out what was actually going on. It is an interesting cover version from 10 years ago on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description of the guy playing it. And I figured out what he's doing. It's in open D tuning with a couple on the fourth fret. So open D tuning is um, D, A, D, F sharp, junior B string down to A, and your high E strings down to D. So that's open D. And then you have the couple on the fourth fret. Really, once you've done that, it's really fairly simple to do. And uh, so this video should help you be able to play along with that cover version and make sense of of uh, what is going on. Like I say, once you've got that, it's it's quite simple uh, to do and form, and you can play along. Uh, I'll write the chords out, put the sheet in the uh, for the chords. Uh, link being in the description of the blog. I'm not going to name the chords because I think that just makes things uh, somewhat more complicated and confusing. But the shapes that you've got to play with is the song starts off. You've got your middle finger there on the, what is now the fourth fret, and the third fret of the G string. Obviously, it's not a G string now, but it, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're going to move this finger along to the fourth fret of the A string, and then you're going down what looks like an E7 chord, then open, and then you're going to hammer on onto that like E7 shape. shape where you've got your middle finger there on the third fret of A, miss a string, the G string, third fret, back to that E7 shape, open, and then he kind of goes In row, which kind of serves as your verse, sometimes the, the ending differs slightly uh, in timing, so watch out for that when you when you watch the cover version. But this is what you've got. For the bridge, what we're going to do, bar the third, second, E7, then we'll go through the yeah. so it's fairly straightforward, and you'll hear it when you. Almost a little bit detective work uh, on how to work songs that when it's something like this there was nothing on the internet on how to do it that I could find uh, but somebody doing a cover version of years ago the way the camera set you could see how the cap one didn't know what the tuning was and you couldn't see where the cap was on if you look in the comments somebody said it was an open day tuning so, all right so you find the open day tuning then you could definitely see that shape being played so figured out that it was on the fourth fret and then everything follows. So when you're working things out, sometimes be a detective, it isn't that people 
you've got a magic yeah that you can just do it it takes a little bit of uh, looking into but you get there eventually then you can use your yeah to, to figure things out but it's a really beautiful song and one that i'd never heard before and very uh led zeppelin-esque and uh when i looked up on wikipedia about sandy denny who sadly died in 1978 quite young uh she must have duetted with uh, robert plant so there's a, there's a zeppelin connection there but it's a really lovely song 